Hey guys, uh, Mike Shoesmith here. We got breaking news out of the uh, Obama eligibility uh, goings on around the world. Dr. Orly Tates, she's been on this thing for years with um, evidence, and now it appears she's got an article up on her uh, uh, website here. Breaking news, we got this yesterday. Breaking news, Chief Justice of the Supreme Court John Roberts schedules a case by Attorney Tates regarding Obama's forged IDs to be heard in conference before the full Supreme Court. Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of the United States John Roberts scheduled a case by Attorney Orly Tates dealing with Barack Hussein Obama's use of forged IDs to be heard in conference before the full Supreme Court. The case titled Noonan Judd McLaren Tates v. Bowen provides a mountain of evidence of Barack Obama using the last name not legally his forged selective service application forged long form and short form birth certificate and a Connecticut social security number 04268-4425 which was never assigned to him according to E-Verify and SSNVS. You guys might remember that uh, we covered the E-Verify thing. We've been on this uh, for forgery stuff and e-verify uh, people out there have tried to put his social security number through e-verify to make sure that he's not an illegal immigrant and according to e-verify uh, Barack Obama can't be hired because his social security number doesn't match up with the records Additionally, this case provides evidence of around 1.5 million invalid voter registrations in the state of California alone. I'm not sure why that's going in there. It just seems like it, that's a separate case altogether, right? A little bit of overkill there. Uh, because if it's, if, if, it's, if, if it's found that he has uh, forged documents, then that should stand alone as reason to impeach. And it will have to be an impeachment now because... It looks like February 15th is the date for this after he gets sworn in. She does touch on this. She says, please keep in mind Richard Nixon was re-elected and sworn in, but later was forced to resign after, as a result of Watergate. So she's she's acknowledging here that he will, be, he will have been sworn in by this point. I have the date for this. She doesn't give the date in the article, but I have the date. And went to prison. Obama forgery... Gate is a hundred times bigger than Watergate. More corrupt high-ranking officials, U.S. attorneys, attorney generals, and judges were complicit. Uh, committed high treason by allowing a citizen of Indonesia, and possibly still a citizen of Kenya, Barack Hussein Obama, a.k.a. Barry Sobarka, a.k.a. Barack Barry Sotoro, to usurp the U.S. presidency by use of forged IDs and a stolen social security number. Wow. SCOTUS printout is below. You can get this article here by going to orlytatesesq.com. There's the address there. www.orlytatesesq.com. But, now what happened, uh, what happened next was, this is our Facebook page here. Somebody, one of our supporters, we'll zoom back in there, one of our supporters uh, contacted Orly personally and said, look, uh, what's going on here? Give us some more details. So this is a personal note from Orly Tates to that P.P. Simmons supporter. I don't have permission to give the person's name. But this was, the, this was what uh, Dr. Tates wrote to the P.P. Simmons supporter. You can go on the website of the Supreme Court, go to docket, Enter my name and case number and you'll see it. I really need help with people rising and demonstrating in front of the Supreme Court, in front of the White House. We need signs which say, Obama is using forged IDs and a stolen social security number. Supreme Court to rule February 15th. So there's the date. February 15th. The Supreme Court will rule on Obama's eligibility and stolen uh, forged uh, uh, identification documents. People can be in front of the federal buildings in their states in front of state capitals, particularly during the inauguration. We need people contacting media demanding to cover it. So spread the word on this. February 15th is the date the Supreme Court will hear the eligibility case for uh, usurper uh, Barack Hussein Obama. Keep that in your prayers. Pray for Dr. Tates. 
pray that justice is done here, folks. I mean, if if you are if you're a lover of God, if if you are if you are a um, a God fearing person, then uh, you uh, you rejoice in the truth, right? Yeah, that is right. Love rejoices in the truth. Thanks for watching.